Today, we're on our way to Rest Haven Cemetery, which is at O'Hare Airport. It's a little difficult to find this cemetery as it sits behind the FedEx Ship Center. This is the last cemetery at the airport. In 2010, the city of Chicago took the case against St. Johannes Lutheran Cemetery all the way to the Supreme Court and won. They spent $17 million to move over 14,000 bodies so they can expand their runways. But somehow, Rest Haven has survived. One thing I noticed is that there are a lot of families at this cemetery, like the Stuve family, whose last burial was by Sophie, who was buried in 1942 at the age of 91. The cemetery is foggy and smells like jet fuel. After a few minutes, I started to get a little nauseous. <laughs> we also have the Heinrich family, whose last burial was by Anna Elsbian, who passed away in 1874. Some of the markers were so old here that you can't even make out what's written. As I continue moving forward, I start to notice a few things that I didn't like. The grass was dead, there's branches lying all over the place, there's mud spots everywhere, the fence is broken in multiple spots, and I can't help but wonder, is O'Hare doing this on purpose? So someday they could say nobody is taking care of the cemetery, and it'll just be another reason for them to move forward with removing the cemetery and expanding their runways. The monuments are broken, some of them at least, and it's just really sad. We have to remember, guys, before this was O'Hare Airport, this was all farmland, and people like the Britton family chose this place to be their final resting spot. Their burials date back to 1883, and the last one was in 1944. Or like the Beisterfeld family, there was Amanda, Frederick, Herman, Lily, Martha, Martin, and Wilhelmina. Their family burials date back from 1918 to 1967. There was also the Lang family, whose burials go back as far as 1883, and the last one was by Louis Lang, who passed away in 1967. I mean, there's just so much family history at this cemetery. According to findagrave.com, there's 153 burials here at Rest Haven Cemetery, but a lot of them I couldn't identify. Like these two, they were so old that the letters were worn out. And I noticed a lot of the monuments and markers were broken or had been moved. At one point, the cemetery was closed off to the public. It was considered a restricted area and nobody but airport employees were allowed in. So the only thing I could think of is that employees came here to drink after work, as I found liquor bottles inside and outside the cemetery. I don't want to make an accusation like that, but there's just nothing else I could think of. Lastly... This cemetery is known for having some paranormal activities here. Lots of local ghost hunters come here, including myself, to communicate with spirits. Now, some of you guys might not be into that sort of thing, but for those of you that are, you should definitely come check this cemetery out because the action here is pretty good. Also, some ghost hunters have used their spirit boxes here and have claimed to hear the voices of children and adults yelling at them in different languages. So if you're a ghost hunter, definitely keep this place on the list of places to check out. So thank you guys very much for watching. Please make sure to smash that subscribe button and stay tuned for the next video.